when exploring Minecraft, it's always nice to come upon these structures. But what if when you found them, they were so much better? With the Dungeons and Taverns data pack, you can add so many more structures, dungeons, and more to your game. The first structure we are looking at is known as the Tavern, which has loot chests on the outside on these wagon looking things. Uh, it has the Nitwit Villager. It, do you have the Nitwit has trades in this? Okay, did not know that. That's a pleasant surprise. And then we come over here, the novice mason has stuff like that. And then if we go in here, there should be a cartographer. Uh, you are not the cartographer. The tavern does have beds you can sleep in. Just a nice little cozy place you can get uh, whenever you need to take a nap rather than, you know, raiding a village for beds. And some of the taverns have second floor. Oh, here we go. I did not see this the first time I came through here to look at it. Okay, that was a pot with some potatoes. And here's that second floor I was talking about where there's the cartographer. I was looking for you. And this one was actually a really lucky tavern because it spawned right next to a bunker, which is apparently pretty rare. Uh, and what this is, is just basically a glorified stronghold. And going into spectator mode here, you can definitely see the resemblance that this has to the strongholds. Of course, it does got different features to it. And it has rooms that look very reminiscent of the trial chamber rooms. The biggest difference with this in the stronghold, though, is this does not have an end portal frame. Let's take a look. What is in this loot chest? Okay, so just like your basic loot that you would find anywhere else when it comes to Minecraft loot tables. So yeah, uh, definitely worth checking these out. And it's just a nice upgrade version of the stronghold. And I would love to see a stronghold update be where they make it like this. And of course, it does have its own rooms like this little hallway here. So yeah, definitely go check this out. Yes, the place I teased in the beginning, the desert ruins, and oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. A very, very large upgrade to the desert temples we are used to. I mean, even the top of it looks like a typical desert temple, but this is so far from it. Along with the size, if you go inside of it, you will find just rooms that have mobs naturally spawned in them. The biggest thing though is to get to the rooms, you gotta dig through the hallways, which are just filled with sand, suspicious sand, and yeah, pretty much that. Go through here. And the thing I love about this data pack is it adds so much to archaeology. Of course, the suspicious sand acts like typical suspicious sand, but it's just the fact that you now have more structures dedicated to archaeology. And of course, you also have these structures outside of the ruined itself which uh, they're uh, again just filled with suspicious sand and sand go ahead dig them out explore them the legit all of them are filled with sand there's no exceptions and be careful you might find mobs in here as well okay better desert temples are nice and all but let's take a look at the shrines these things are an extension to the trial cham chambers basically and they come in two variants you got this one big one but you can also find a small one but i had trouble finding one but while i was looking i found a stray fort the stray fort's exactly what it sounds a fort for strays wow but back to the shrine which if you go into them and it, this again goes for both the bigger ones and the smaller ones you will find one to five different trial chamber-esque rooms upon exiting you'll find yourself in this little entrance area and then you run in here and get stopped by the door and the trial starts this one is a plains trial and this varies for every biome that you find the shrine in well, I'm lucky enough that I found a planes one and it's just zombies. And of course, since it is a trial spawner, you do get the goodies that you get from the trials. Now, let's say you keep going. Again, there's one to five rooms to this thing. And for this one is that that's a skeleton. Oh, crud. I wish I had a bow and not bow and arrow. I wish I had a shield. That was not too hard. That opens up and gives me a skull or a shrine key. As you go through here, you will find the trials and the um, vaults as well. Uh, is there a vault in here or is this just more trials? Okay, I think this is another trial right here if I can get up here. Okay, so this one is more skeletons. Okay, this should not be too complicated. Oh, and there's spiders as well. Okay, uh, crud, I was not ready for that. I did not realize they were in here. I think this might be the last skeleton. Oh, nope, there's one more. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna eat up. Oh, yeah, no, he just wants to kill me. Okay, come here. You're probably the last skeleton. No, there is one more. Oh my gosh. I thought I was done. He's coming around that tree. That's actually really good for me because I can just go ahead and chase him around and let's see if I can kill him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If I can kill him, he should be the last skeleton. If he's not, I will be shocked. Oh, thank goodness he was. That hurt. Oh, and there is a vault up there. Uh, let's see if I can get up to that. Okay, so let's say I use the shrine key on the vault. It gives me a 
armor template and it looks like just your typical vault stuff you do get the bolt trim in here that's cool so these are just basically another variant of the trial chambers and i love that am i going the right way uh no i'm not that's the one i've already done i do like that in between all these you do got this little room that you can just recoup in without those recharging coming at you or just immediately being tossed into your next trial and you will always find a vault room after those trials the catch is if you don't get enough keys, you will not be able to open that. And of course, the ominous bottles also work on these structures because again, the trials just act exactly the same as the trials you find in the trial chambers. Diagonally down the adventure aspect of things, you do have taverns for every biome. So whatever biome you go in, and if you find a tavern, it's gonna be different each time but it's gonna be roughly the same structure with the beds and just the, the loot and stuff. It's the same structure, just biome specific, very similar to how villages are. And this tavern just so happens to be right next to a ruined town, which is just like it says, a town that's in ruins. And again, a really great spot for archeology. span You'll find suspicious gravel, suspicious stand in these, along with just like your typical loot chests and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely take the chance to look at these. And here is another shrine. At the bottom of this one, you can see that it has different rooms like the trial chambers, they are different. This one has strays rather than zombies and skeletons. And again, these ruined villages, town things can be found in every biome. So go look and you will be more than likely to find one at some point. In between the clips I do, I always find myself just flying around to see if I can just find some more stuff. I'm very enamored by this data pack. I love the fact it adds more structures to the game. And I just want to see everything I can find because I have not found all of them yet. And the ones I'm viewing in this uh, video are just the ones I have found. There are plenty more in the world. So go download the data pack, explore for yourself, see which ones you can find. And let me know in the comments, which one is your favorite structure? So you have a chance to find this creeper head in your worlds. And upon entering it, you will be greeted by the staircases to a stronghold that you can just drop into the water of. Now, of course, it's called the creeping crypt. So you're going to find creepers and apparently there's also a lot of gunpowder. But as you see, they have trial spawners for skeletons. Right here, you got emeralds and a chainmail helmet. Let's see what else we can find down here. This is probably my favorite thing I have found in this data pack because it's a new kind of dungeon and I love it. So you got some zombie spawners there. Let's see what is down here. There are also creeper spawners in this and that is what I really want to find is a creeper spawner. Ah, perfect, a creeper spawner. So let's say you're like me, you just want to try it out and you let the creeper spawn. It's actually not that hard to take out creepers. Just hold up a shield and they die and you do that. Where this gets fun is when you drink an ominous bottle, you get a single charged creeper, which we all know if we let it explode, it drops mob heads. There are just a few of the uh, different things inside of the dungeons and taverns or taverns and dungeons, whatever it's called, data pack. Again, go download this in the description. If you have a data pack you want me to review, also let me know that in the comment section. And with that said, let me know what you thought of the style of today's video. I'm doing a couple of different things when it comes to the camera options and just trying to make the videos a little more interesting. So let me know what you thought about that by hitting the like button. If you have not seen my most recent guide episode, I got cave resources pretty quickly. So go check that out. It's on the screen. If you're not subscribed yet, click my icon on, that you see at the current moment. I am really bad at outros. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day.